in the million dollar backpack is in stores. You know what I'm saying? Right now, y'all need to go cop that, man. I made a really good hip hop album for for people who really like hip hop music. I think I I think I pretty much um solidified that and and I made it happen. So um you know, everybody always in the streets. When I'm in the streets, people are like, yo, man, come on, man. I know you dropped the rap up and all that, but what's up with the album, man? Come on, you killing these dudes. Well, there it is. It's out. Go get it. I would really say this is my second album. Um, The first joint came out, Big Beat Atlantic. You know what I mean? The second album was raucous. That was a raucous album, but it kind of got shelved, and it didn't make it to the light of day. So then by the time it did, it was like three years old. So I, I don't even count that. That's more like a mixtape to me. This right here is my official second album, sophomore. I was on the road, man, between songwriting, ghostwriting, and uh, touring. I was pretty much, you know, I was financially good, so I wasn't tripping off of, you know, having to make money. Like, I had, I, I was making money. So um, the songs took time. It takes time. You know what I mean? That's just me. I'm growing up, man. Like, you know, back in the day, we used to rap about sneakers, and we rapped about, you know what I'm saying, being able to freestyle and battling. And, you know, I'm a grown man now, so um, it's there's things in the world that mean a little more to me, and um, Crazy World touched on that. You know what I'm saying? It's a very political record, but it's coming from a hood perspective. You know what I'm saying? I'm a dude from the hood, man, that's going to rap about what's going on in the world. I mean, Virginia is the top of the, they say it's the top of the South, but it's also the middle of the East Coast. So, um, I don't know, man, you know, I grew up in a town where everything got played. Outkast, UGK, Jay-Z, NWA, you know what I mean? I heard it all. I mean, I, I can't say that, you know, everybody from down there is lyrical, but you definitely can't, can't say that somebody like T.I. is not lyrical. You know what I mean? You can't say that Andre 3000 ain't lyrical. Yeah, you know I mean, these are groups that came from the South, so, you know, I appreciate them for what they did. I don't think it really went anywhere. I believe that the popular music is, is, is you know, the kids, and they get what they want, and, you know, they, they got their dances and things of that nature, but, um, you know, people still making lyric-driven hip-hop. Common is still rapping, you know what I'm saying? Very successful at it. Quality still rapping. Most Def still spitting, you know what I'm saying? Q-Tip about to drop an album, you know what I mean? Um, you know. Jay Z still rapping. He ain't a southern artist. With this album, I ain't even thinking numbers. I've been through so many setbacks and so many labels folding. I'm just happy it's coming out next Tuesday. That's that's the win for me. You know what I mean? I'll be able to stand on stage and say, "Album in stores right now. Go get it. Go to iTunes. Cop my album, and it's there." You know what I mean? I've been through so much, man. With you know the labels turning turning their backs and dropping the project and getting bankrupt and shit. I'm just happy my album coming out, man. I feel like you gotta go with the flow, man. We in a digital age, and they don't have to buy the music anymore. They don't have to get it. They can get your music for free if they want it. So, um, you know, but they can't, they can't get a T-shirt off the net. They can't get a full-fledged, the feeling of seeing you perform live off the net. So those are things that you can still make money off if you, if you, you know, if you put your effort into it. I would say all of it, man. Like, I really can't pick one, you know what I mean? Um, if it came down to a song where I'm just spitting, I would have to say sick. If it came down to a song that I really felt from the heart, I would have to say hip hop died. If it came down to a song that I really wanted ladies to like, that would be for real. You know what I'm saying? Hip hop died, what's that about? Um, it's just me just, you know, talking about I'm not saying hip hop is dead. I said on the song, I heard somebody say hip hop is dead. And I don't believe that hip hop is dead. So I talked about that on that song. You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen Timberland in a while. Last time I saw Timberland was in um was in uh Miami. You know what I'm saying he moved down to Miami. He just got married, so congratulations to Timbo and his new wife and child. You know what I'm saying? Um VA man, we spread love, you know what I mean? Like we came a long way. None of us ever thought we would be this far. I mean, I just feel like I'm ready for change, man. Whoever's going to bring change and represent change, I'm, I'm, that's who I'm for. I'm going to stand back and watch this thing unfold. I'm going to cast my vote for who I want to vote for. And um, I'm going to stand back and hope for the best. But, um, you know, I just want to see some change, man. You know what I mean? It's just that time. When every president came in, they changed something, and it's time for change.